Hey everyone, Meosity here. Welcome back. Today on the Darkest Modded File, we're looking into gathering these lost shipments in the cove. So let's get to it. We're going to be using the Rudiment, the... I think it's the Forsaken um, class I got in the last time I was out, Lamia. And we're going to try to use the Grave Robber to try to leverage some of the Forsaken skills. So let's get to it. Um, I know it's for Resolve level 2 or higher characters, but considering they're all... I don't have many of those, we're still going to try it out. Um, and then just kind of loading up on some supplies here. Good, need one of those. Um, the medicinal herbs in the cove is never a bad thing. Kind of learned my lesson with bringing skeleton keys, and I think we should be good with that. Maybe a few more torches, to be honest, and I think we'll be good. The caves are overrun with spiders. Proceed carefully and cautiously to recover the shipments. Oh, that's a very good scout. So we're going to try to go down here towards that secret room. See who's good with traps really quick. 60, 90. All right. And uh, you might have saw some differences on the uh, Hamlet map there. And that was because while... Let's see who needs this really quick. Weak grip on life. That might be good to get rid of. We need to get rid of germaphobe on him if we can. Well, nope, not happening. Okay. Uh, while I was recording, I didn't notice some updates happened and uh, I was trying some other things out. Another and so I basically went two episodes where I couldn't hear my voice on the recordings and among some other things. So basically had to throw those episodes out because I couldn't salvage them maybe in the future when I figure some stuff out. Um, can repost them, but uh, yeah, basically what happened was I went to the Crimson Courtyard for one, I killed the Spider Mother in the Wield. Uh, let's do Perilous Flush and get that going. Lovely repost. I'm not sure how the Forsaken works. I kind of would like to get his repost going, I think. And a few other things, and I tried this the first time, but misread the Mambo's skills and thought she had a healing ability, so that was on me and entirely lost that group. I'm not entirely sure what else I did, but that's kind of the gist of what happened in the two episodes. Okay, very nice. We're getting that bleed going. Shaman's gonna go down. Uh, let's heal up, as we can. Our boy Percy here, the Rudiment. Let's hit both of them. We can then blight this thing. And I think everyone is now blighted, except for the grouper. Uh, let's necrotic plague this thing. Now when it... Oh. Executed with impunity. Not exactly how I planned on that going, but, you know. What happens, happens. Uh, he's got one round on that, so let's re-up. He does extra damage versus Blighted, and has some light to deal, so let's try that out. Nope, didn't hit. Uh, yeah, we'll heal again. That Blight is amazing. Get rid of the bleed. Rupert goes down on its next turn, so we can just focus on that Guardian, which we will do. The Destroy them all. 
And I suppose just finish up, because why not? Take what we can. I missed the secret room here, so let's go to it. Or is it merely a trick of the light? That's why we brought the skeleton key. Dahomet's head. Light skill chance, light skill amount, stress damage received. Um almost want to put that on the bacon. Wonder if that's uh I'm blanking. Um <laughs> a uh not DLC, a mod item. Alright, so really don't like these glass spiders. Let's heal some stress. And we're gonna try something slightly different with him and Necrotic Plague. Oh wow. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Now the glass spiderling dies on its turn, the Weber dies on its turn, so we just have the spitter. That's really good. Uh cure his own blight. We can then heal him. I know that was a little bit of a waste, but it is what it is. forward and then bam all right so let's try to get some health steel going no okay got another key if we find a secret room i'm cool with that pop that go in here Do we have something for this? I don't believe so. Um, don't remember what it does off the top of my head. I think we needed uh, holy water for that. Press location one, there's two right there. I think we stack now with the uh, mods, which is really nice, not having to take up five spots for that. It's gotta be another one of my favorite parts of this, like just the inventory management. Uh, yes, we can use a skeleton key on that, getting more stuff. Let's go get this fight, go down, and then get the quest location. What? Aquatic. Let's take that thing out. Alright, um, she can heal. Alright, get our attack back going. Uh, necrotic plague, so he'll blight everyone else. Blight the jellyfish. I'm really liking this group. Didn't think it would work this well together. Uh, both put some damage on the Guardian. We can heal herself. E. 
goals can get some health back. Alright. And blight everything because of that. <laughs> um, we're just going to do this. That means he goes down on his turn. Just leaving the glass. And... I mean, it'll get us to the glass spiderling faster. And there we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So I'm not sure I see a hallway right there, so I think I have to... Oh, I see, okay. It's a little confusing when they're this close together, but I think I have to go back here, then there. Like, back to the start, then left, then I can go up and down. I've fully mapped out the down portion of this. Which is kind of odd. But that is what it is. Alright, the... Grave Robber was good with traps, so we'll do that. This is an empty room, so we'll do this. The Thrall needs to go first, so we will do that. Healing up. Um, yeah, I think that's the way to do this. Ow. Well, there he goes. Then we can do... Nope, nope, never mind. Eight accuracy for that. I love some of these new traits. Get rid of the bleed. Um, I want the grouper down from the, uh, Forsaken, so the Rudiment can go at the Stinger. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. And then the Blight should... Decomposition. The hell is that? Oh, minus 100% food consumed. I will take that. Some of these traits are so weird when they actually happen. So we'll take that. I'm very glad they stack. We're going to go up and see if we can't map this out now. I'm not sure this is going to lead anywhere. Oops, towards spiderlings. They kind of hurt. Um, let's... Ah, I should have done the... Forsaken. I keep getting them mixed up for some reason. Oof. That's not going to be good. Alright, he loses his turn, Rudiment can do Perilous Flesh, hitting the Sword Spiderling. We can then Necrotic Plague him so everyone gets blighted on his turn. No, because the attack back killed him? Wow, okay. Gotta give props to that rudiment, though. 
Alright, let's get rid of the bleed. Then blighting a sword spiderling that's not blighted. It'll go down on its next turn. It's almost ready to go down. So let's speed that up and now we just have the jellyfish. Okay. Lights the other heroes, that's fine. I was really hoping to get a blight on the spiderling there. Okay, she needs to heal. Maybe we can get him down, no. Jellyfish down. Happy with that. That's not good. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Wonder if he can do this. And then one round of red pulse that so we can do that oh no Ooh. by the hair of our chin then let's go with the sword spider to take it out Sword Spider dies on its turn. Um, we can probably kill the Astral Spiderling if we were to hit. All right, I'm cool with that. Lighting him again. Curing that blight so he doesn't get super damaged. And now we have Sword Spiderling to take back out. There we go. That got a little dicey there. Destroyed. All right, let's use some of this food. and driven into the mud. Still don't think I have a thing for that, so we're gonna let it be, and we're gonna go here. I didn't bring. We do have this, though. Okay. Why can't I use it? <laughs> Alright, got a scout. Suppose we'll go up to the treasure room? See what this leads to. Might be worth a camp soon. Don't think I have anything for this, so we'll open it. Get some good crests. And what's over here? Looks 
because we still have to find three of them, meaning I think all of them are over here then, because we've explored all of that. Okay, Astral Spiraling in the back, don't like that. We need to heal the Grave Robber. Alright, so since he has a turn left, we're going to do the Necrotic Plague on him so he tries to blight everyone else. We're going to go at Spiderling to try to blight it down. And hopefully the Perilous Flesh does enough. Alright. Healing still. Well, I think that thing is going to die. Uh, let's light him up. Can then do this and miss. I'm also going to throw this on the gr uh, grouper just so they can keep stacking that damage on each other. And keep lighting him. I think he'll go down on his turn now. 13 damage, yeah. She can heal herself. And... Pose give him restoration. We can use one of our shovels. And... Okay, we did get something here. It does connect over here if we want to. Unlocked strong box. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Let's go up. Otherwise, I'm going to regret that. Another shovel. There's a shovel thing there, too. Alright, no astrals, so I'm not too concerned about that. However, I do want to take out the stone so I don't get stunned. Like that. Um... Probably not going to blight him with the 100% chance, so let's go at the stingers and get them down. And she can keep healing, because that's what she's here for, that is stress. <laughs> oh wow, he got him though. Uh, we're going to three and four. We can probably just take out the glass spiderling, I suppose, and not have the uh, debuff on us. We can get rid of that bleed. I was really hoping he wouldn't do that. Now we bladed them. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... I think we can get the... Third stinger without him. Maybe, maybe not. Um, 
let's put another heal on him. Her. I'm not sure which the grave robber technically is. Singular strike. And there we go. More blood if we need it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. There's our third. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the fool So now there's probably two over here. I'm guessing one up and one down. In radiance, may we find victory. Alright, let's take advantage of this. Let's actually get some stress down. He can probably get some good damage on one of them. That one's gonna die. We can then go on this one. I think that one will probably go first. Oh, really? Probably should have gone at the groupers. They had more of a chance of actually attacking us. <laughs> and there's that blight stacking up. We're going to keep de-stressing. I think I'm going to camp after this and use one of them. So that'll get us some healing. Shaman's gonna die, actually, from Blight already. Wow. Decisive bubbling. And that's already everyone down. I just need to, uh, finish the round. And get that little bit. All right. Seize this momentum. Push on to the tasks. And we'll do that. Heal up. De-stress. Now let's see here. Wow, that's a lot of stuff for him. Produces gold. God, about that produces random supply item. Gallows humor could be huge. I do not have a prevent nighttime ambush, though. What I'm gonna do is Gallows Humor, which thrust him out, which I think is fine. Um, gonna produce gold, which got us quite a bit. We're gonna pilfer, which actually was pretty handy. What disease does he have? Hashimoto's. Let's get rid of that. And then we're going to encourage him. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And then we'll and go the up to the treasure room. Clear. And let's get rid of Germaphobe. Now he has accuracy versus blighted things. That is so bad on him. Alright, nothing here, so let's go down. I think I actually have to go down to this battle room, then go up. If I'm not mistaken, I can try, but... Oh, I can go this way. Okay. Then go down to this curio. Alright, curio, curio... I'm gonna save my shovels. Actually, I got three, so I should be good. And some kind of useful ones for the state we're at right now, so I'm not gonna complain about that. We are gonna heal a little bit more, just to be comfortable. 
All right, so I guess they're gonna get their turns. Get rid of the shaman so we don't get uh, overstressed. And there goes all the health we already recovered. Get our post back up. We're gonna heal because we need it. And put this on him because we can. And blight everyone up. He'll die on his next turn. Healing again. Oh, darn. I mean, he still dies. Doesn't matter if you heal him to full health. Alright, now with Mr. Rudiment. Five for six, let's take out him. Or not Rudiment, the Forsaken. I keep doing that. Don't know why. Let's try to get at that grouper. Nope. Another one falls. Now he can only attack the first two rows, I think. Uh, let's de-stress a little bit. I'm not sure what happens when the Forsaken goes afflicted, but I'm pretty sure he can only get afflicted if he has the same kind of thing as the uh, Flagellant. And there he goes. But let's get some health to heal. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates oh, there's a secret room. Alright, what do we got? Fear of Eldritch. Right, he's Eldritch, but afraid of Eldritch and afraid of spiders. We have afraid of Yokai, Diurnal, and we have weak grip on life. I think we're gonna work on his stuff. Alright, so, I think we're going to go at the Shaman here. Healing the Grave Robber. Going to definitely get that attack back. Um, let's damage the stone, I think. And then we're going to actually... Oh, darn. It's not much of a buff, so I'm not too concerned about that. Alright, we uh, probably should work on that stress. I know this doesn't do too much, but it's something. Working on a stone again. Let's try to do this again. He gets bladed, and then he'll blight everyone else on his turn. Let's make sure the Shaman dies. And I suppose start going at the grouper, because the damage from this glass should finish everything off. That almost looks like it's part of the uh, clam there. Two glass spider foods. Huh. 
Alright, since I only have one shovel left, I'm just going to open this. Alright, we got that secret room, but let's get this one. Which is another one of these. And he no longer has arachnophobia, which is great for in here. Let's use the key because space and go to that quest location right there. Then we only have to find one more. They can eat. There's been a lot of secret rooms in here. That's four. And it looks like I have to go probably here to finish it off. One of these two rooms here has a branching path, and I'm guessing it's the one that goes way off. Oh! Wasn't expecting to find them here. Alright, we'll see what we can do about them. For now, de-stressing. Um, we're gonna blight these guys. And probably put this on them so that we can get the stuff rolling. Get our attack back going. Uh, we're going to go to the sick fence so we don't get as stressed out. And now the true test. Hold fast. Healing herself so she doesn't die. Um, two, two, two. Let's keep trying to take out that sick fence. Can he really suck blood from that thing? I mean, to each their own. One down. And... Suppose we'll do this, get the healing and repost on him. He should die on his turn now. He's got a decent light. We're gonna keep healing. Compassion is a rarity. Re-up this. Uh, if we do this, we'll probably take him out. Nope. Okay. So, take out what we can. And then we'll just have one supplicant left. Oh, nope. Never mind. I forgot about that part of the ability. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. probably gonna camp in this next area. But we'll see. Oh, don't have any medicinal herbs for it. Oh well. Alright, Troll definitely has to go, but then the aquatic. Um let's heal the grave robber. Let's get this rolling. I think we should be good to take him out. Nope. Okay. Well, he dies on his next turn, so I'm not too concerned about that anymore. However, let's see what happens here. Really? Okay. Anger is power. 
I'm not sure that's a good thing for the Forsaken, for him to hear the light. Okay, Stinger dies, Thrall dies. Only need to worry about the Glass Spiderling. We'll see what we can do. Cure him, because, wow. Uh-oh. That could be bad. Okay. And there we go. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Oh wait. I need two more. That was my bad. Oh well. Alright, so... thought someone could remove mortality debuffs, but that's only from himself. So, produce gold. Supply item. No one else has something too amazing for the situation. So what I think I'm going to do is regeneration on him to heal him up, get rid of the bleeding. And we're just going to heal the Lamia. And then I suppose encourage to do that. The light, the promise of safety. Then we have two more rooms to find stuff in. Alright, so let's heal up. Killing the Thrall. Especially because he's back there, he's a little bit more of a threat. Um, gonna put this on him so that he has a chance of lighting everyone else. Oh no. Uh, four, two... We're just gonna have to eat this. Then getting rid of the um, Guardian. Let's light him up. He's gonna go down pretty quickly. He can heal herself and cure that. Get Perilous Flesh going. Make sure everyone gets bladed more, and he can heal himself. And I think we win this turn no matter what. this right away, take what we can, and see where this goes. There's another one. Oh. Oh, they only stacked to three. Okay, that's my mistake. So that's gathered lost shipments. Got our rewards, we got the aquatic perfume bottle of summoning to get an aquatic spider. If we ever wanted to mismatch, 22,000 gold, very welcome. Actually, that's almost 23. And a bunch of heirlooms. <laughs> well, busts. I think that's 52 crests, a portrait, and 14 deeds. Wired Reconstruction won't work as well on Percy, 15 dodge if recent, there is a uh, low HP, and Mankind Hater on the person who won't do damage. <laughs> All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. 
and was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. Now the uh, fanatic will be coming to our joyful expeditions if we ever see him. Got a few level ones now that we can maybe invest in. Probably will be going to the Sunward Isles more, um, if not the uh, farmstead and get that off the record next time. So that should be it for this time. We have a few things still on our agenda. We just need to actually start getting level 3 veteran level adventurers now and uh, start getting some district stuff. So we need to start leveling everything up a little bit more. So with that being said, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one.